So a couple of weeks ago, we made a video about the Flipkart Mafia, a group of Indian startup founders that began their entrepreneurial journeys working as entrepreneurs at Flipkart. And we got a couple of comments from people on that video asking us to make similar videos for other prominent Indian startups like Paytm. After all, Paytm has been around now since 2010, and Paytm's parent company, 197, since 2000. They're also planning the largest IPO in Indian history, and so we thought it would be a good time to talk about the impact that some of Paytm's most enterprising former employees have had on India's startup ecosystem by talking about the top 10 startups that were founded by the Paytm Mafia. Coming up right after this. So before we jump in, I just wanted to clear one thing up real quick because on the Flipkart Mafia video, we got a couple of angry comments from people accusing me of defaming Indian startups by using the word mafia to describe them. So in the context of startups, when we use the word mafia, it isn't to imply that there's some kind of criminal behavior happening behind the scenes or that the founders of these startups are somehow part of a crime syndicate. It's just a playful term that somebody over in Silicon Valley coined after this photograph of former PayPal employees was published and became famous. They all dressed up in costume here. They're not actually part of some kind of Silicon Valley mafia. This is just the PayPal mafia that started it all off. And now that term mafia has become internationally synonymous in the startup community with groups of startup founders that began their entrepreneurial journeys at the same company. So I hope that clears things up. And now let's start things off with number 10, Mumbai-based fintech startup Raise Financial Services. Founded by former Paytm Money CEO Praveen Jadhav in 2021, Raise Financial Services is building multiple products in categories like financing, insurance, investment, payments, and wealth management. Now, this process of building financial service products involves procuring a lot of different licenses, which is why more fintech startups don't take this approach. They usually start off with one product and then slowly expand their offerings over time. But do keep in mind that Braveen built Paytm Money completely from scratch. And today, this platform has more than 7 million users. So his time at Paytm as an entrepreneur was what prepared him to build Raise. That being said though, when a company wants to grow quickly, industry know-how usually isn't enough. You need rocket fuel too, which is where Mireille Asset Venture Investments comes into the picture. They invested an undisclosed amount of funds into Raise, which Raise used to buy stockbroking platform Moneylicious in August of 2021. Now, the founder of Moneylicious, Jay Prakash Gupta, is going to be joining Praveen as a co-founder, and the 15-member Moneylicious team is going to be building an invite-only investment platform built specifically for long-term investors called Dhan, which is the Hindi word for money. Next up at number 9, we have Noida-based IoT-enabled vending machine startup Dalcini Technologies. Prerna Kaura joined Paytm back in 2011 as one of the company's first five employees and led the team that built Paytm Wallet. She was also instrumental in the creation of Paytm Payments Bank, and this work resulted in her occasionally traveling outside of India. During one work trip in China, she noticed vending machines that were essentially becoming a replacement for restaurants and grocery stores. They could dispense fresh fruit, vegetables, and even meals. And so after returning to India, she and one of her colleagues, Vidya Bhushan, who was a product manager at Paytm at the time, came up with a plan to do the same thing in India by building a network of IoT-enabled vending machines across office spaces, colleges, hospitals, co-living spaces, and residential societies. Today, Dalcini has more than 440 smart vending machines across 10 cities, and more than 1.4 lakh people are using them on a monthly basis. The startup is expecting to bring in revenue totaling 144 crore rupees by the end of the financial year of 2022. And in order to continue growing quickly, they've also raised $1.2 million from investors like Artha India Ventures. Moving on to number eight now, we have Noida-based agritech startup Unati. Founded by former Paytm executive Amit Sinha, along with former Paytm general manager Ashok Prasad, Unati began its journey as Akshamala in 2010. 
Akshamala was a startup that provided professional services like consulting and information and communication technology to enterprise clients in India's agriculture space. However, Amit soon ran out of money and went back to work at Paytm, first as its CFO and then as Paytm Mall's COO, while Ashok continued to build Akshamala. Then, at the end of 2019 and into 2020 as the pandemic began, Amit rejoined Ashok and together they pivoted the business away from serving enterprise clients and towards offering an end-to-end -end agri-tech platform built for farmers. They formalized the pivot with a new name, Unati, and today the startup offers everything from access to working capital, affordable inputs like seeds and fertilizers, advisory services on what to sow and when to sow it based on the weather and soil conditions, and a platform to sell produce. They've already onboarded more than 2.5 lakh farmers across six states, and their main investment investor, Nav Ventures, has poured $1.7 million into the startup so far. Coming to number 7 now, we have New Delhi-based omni-channel eyewear retailer Clear Deco. Large players like Lenscart and Titan iPlus dominate the eyewear market in India's Tier 1 cities. But when it comes to Tier 2, 3, and 4 cities, many people still lack access to affordable high-quality eyewear, and that's where Clear Deco comes in. Founded by former Paytm Payments North India business head Saurabh Dayal, along with Shivi Singh in 2016, Clear Deco is selling their glasses for as little as 200 rupees, which compared to the pricing of more premium brands is extremely affordable, even for people living in more remote parts of the country. The startup has more than 100 stores across India, and they've already sold more than 3 lakh pairs of glasses, generating revenue totaling 6 crore rupees in the financial year of 2019. So far, Clear Deco's investors have pumped $2.3 million into the startup. Next up at number 6, we have New Delhi-based fintech startup Junio. Founded in 2020 by former Paytm head of user growth Ankit Gera, along with former Paytm chief marketing officer and senior VP Shankar Nath, Junio offers their customers a smart card for teenagers, which works just like a debit card and can be used for both online and offline transactions with the goal of teaching kids to become financially responsible at a young age. These teenagers' parents have the ability to control and track their child's spending, and while this smart card was only launched in 2021, it's already being used by more than 1 lakh people. To continue this rapid growth, Junio's investors have poured $3 million into the startup so far. Moving on to number 5 now, we have Gurugram-based Indian language audio streaming platform Pocket FM. Founded by Pradeek Dixit, Nishan Srinivas, and former Paytm product manager Rohan Nayak in 2018, Pocket FM had an uphill task from the beginning, as India's local language audio streaming market was almost non-existent at the time. For the first 18 months or so, Pocket FM focused on building their content library by partnering with various content creators. And while they only managed to get 10,000 app downloads during this first year and a half, they were able to build a vast audio content library consisting of more than 10,000 audiobooks and podcasts in seven Indian languages. And as they say in the world of startups, if you build it, they will come. With such a robust library of content, it was only a matter of time before people started to discover and fall in love with Pocket FM. Today, they have more than 20 million registered users and have started to monetize their platform too with paid offerings like Pocket VIP, which already has 1 lakh subscribers. To date, Pocket FM's investors have poured $6.2 million into the startup. Coming in at number 4 now, we have New York-based fintech startup Skeps. Founded by former Paytm Deputy General Manager Mayank Tuari, along with Prerit and Tushar Srivastava in 2018, Skeps builds point-of-sale financing solutions for merchants and lenders. See, a lack of financing options is one of the leading causes of customer drop-offs. Because if you can't afford the thing that you're trying to buy and you don't already have financing options at your disposal, like a line of credit or a credit card, then you're probably going to walk away empty-handed. And that's where Skeps comes in. 
They're able to offer consumers point-of-sale financing solutions by partnering with lenders who onboard these consumers as lendees, and also by partnering with merchants who offer these loans on the lender's behalf in order to increase their own sales. It is a genius solution that makes everybody involved happy, which is how they've enabled their clients to evaluate loans worth $1 billion in the last 18 months, and these numbers have Skeps investors very excited. To date, the startup has raised $10.5 million from these investors. Next up at number three, we have New Delhi-based Park Plus. The idea for Park Plus came one day to Paytm's VP of Business, Amit Lakotia, while he was struggling to find a parking spot at Paytm's office. He realized that due to limited availability, some people had to park on the side of the road and risk getting their vehicle towed. And he wondered why this problem hadn't yet been solved in India. In 2019, after doing some market research, he decided that he was going to be the one to solve it by enabling people to discover and book parking spots online before they even leave their home. Today, Park Plus has expanded their offerings to include Chalan payment, that's traffic violation fee payment for those of you who are outside of India, fast tag highway toll recharge, vehicle insurance, and even booking car cleaning services. Their app is already being used by more than 5 lakh people, and so far, Park Plus investors have pumped $12.2 million into the startup. Moving on to number two now, we have Gurugram-based gold lending startup India Gold. According to the World Gold Council, Indian consumers are the world's largest holders of gold, with upwards of 25,000 tons of gold privately stored in Indian homes. And what former Paytm senior VPs Deepak Abhat and Nitin Mishra realized was that this was a missed business opportunity. With India Gold, which they founded in 2020, their customers get two things. One, safe storage of their gold in the startup secure lockers, and two, access to extremely low interest loans against that same gold. The startup currently has more than 1 million registered users, and while their services are currently only available in Delhi NCR and Indore, their investors have given them $13.9 million in order to expand into 10 new Indian cities by the end of the financial year of 2022. And finally, coming in at number one now, we have New Delhi-based social commerce startup SimSim. Founded by former Paytm senior VPs Amit Bagaria and Sora Vashista, along with Kunal Suri in 2018, the idea behind SimSim was to make it easier for Indian language internet users who weren't comfortable reading reviews in English and who were new to online shopping to get acquainted with e-commerce and make their first online purchases. To do this, the startup offers a social commerce platform where influencers can try out and review products in their local languages and their followers after watching these reviews can order these products directly from the SimSim app. In just two years, SimSim was able to onboard more than 5 million users and 1,200 influencers, and they also raised $17 million from their investors in order to continue growing. However, what makes SimSim a little bit different from the other companies on this list is that in July of 2021, they stopped being a startup. SimSim was acquired by YouTube who felt that there was huge potential in India's growing social commerce space and saw SimSim as an opportunity to quickly jump in and start growing their presence in this rapidly growing market. At the time of the acquisition, SimSim was reportedly valued at more than $70 million. All right, that was our list of India's top 10 startups that were founded by the Paytm Mafia. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from it. And if you did, it would mean a lot to us if you could hit the like button and maybe share this video with a friend or two, people who are interested in Indian startups and entrepreneurship. And also, if you haven't already subscribed, now would be a great time to do so because we post new videos every single week about Indian startups, entrepreneurs, and the latest news. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Backstage with Millionaires, and I will see you in the next one.